What's going on guys? I'm Journey, back with a thoughts video, this time on Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7. This one's a prequel to the original, and it's a good game. Up on front, it's a good game. Pro tip, get behind the enemy, start swinging your sword, watch these jokers stagger. Unfortunately, this is where we'll start to go into some of the things I dislike about the game. Well, you do enough damage and then all of a sudden you are treated to a cutscene, if you would, of individuals doing different types of uh, rituals or whatever the heck they do. And there's whatever kind of crazy nonsense. You come out of the cutscene and you take big damage. And don't worry, there's no way to get around it. There's no way to defend against it. You are screwed. Why? Because they literally, literally make sure that you can't input nothing. So your controls get locked, your characters get locked, nothing happens. Boom, go start summoning it. Boom, wow, out of nowhere, big damage. I'm sorry, it's kind of... That one, that one's kind of trashy to me. I'm not going to lie. Because... I, 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 I think it's a cop-out. You, you know, like, it's like an attempt to keep you humble. But instead of keeping you humble, we're just going to strip you. And, I mean, at the end of the day, if you're not powerful enough, at least in my personal opinion, but you know you're doing well, like, let's say you're low level, you, you're going against, like, a higher level enemy your low level like that could immediately nuke you even though you done did everything right and you there will be nothing you can do about it so i hate that they do have missions in the game like some missions that you can take on right from the main menu so you don't have to go find this person to talk to go find that person to talk to go travel to way over yonder to go see if you could actually find the thing that you're looking for or have to talk to a bunch of different npcs to narrow down where the actual target or whatever it else is i like that about the game i think that's pretty nice it's very streamlined in that process um it doesn't leave much for exploration or different other things, but mind you, this came out on a PSP. So, you know, that's not too bad, in my personal opinion. The game is gorgeous. It runs uh, very well. Um, I had to do through uh, emulation, so take for that as you will. And the story's not bad. What the heck is up with Genesis? Like, the whole, whole dude got some freaking apple going around, citing poetry and stuff, and all into himself. I'm like, man... I hope, I hope I don't find anybody like that in the modern age, man. I'm dead serious. I feel like I'll probably be seeing Jesus the next time. Or at least within my sleep. Very early. Either way, they got a whole bunch of different types of characters in the game. That are either going to make you love it, love it even more. Or just make you scratch your head. There's not much I can say about all that. The music is pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, the pacing is fine. I'm more of a fan of mission-based structure stuff. So, this is high up on my list also. As far as material is concerned, to me, they take it to the next level. You could combine your material to make something entirely new. You could still level up your material. I mean, it's like kind of like an amazing thing to do. Now, you still got things of, you get, you know, things you always know. You have your magics that you use. You have your elements that you could still take and, um, or I should say, be um, inflicted with. So, you still have to... It's not just flat, go, go, go. You do have to have some preparation in this game to get by. Um, and then you do have, like, I mean, after the game, you can still do, like, a new game plus, keep your stuff, and keep moving forward, which I've always approved in RPGs. And, um, yeah, this is a good one. This is a very good one. And, you know, as you assort your materials, your game increases stats from HP to vitality to spirit to attack power to... Um, even AP, which is like what you would need to actually execute your skills. So there's a whole lot under the under the tree. And I believe this one is also to me, this one should most definitely get remade. Um, it will still be at your chances are. Which in this instance, compared to other instances, I'm more than okay with it. Because I, I think it does help out this game because this kind of is short, but it's it's not it's like it has meat to it. But for the most part, it's a shorter experience that's weighed out through your submissions as opposed to being this long dragged out experience with just cutscenes after cutscenes after cutscenes that you're hoping that you wish were in. So I mean, I mean, this I think it does strike a right balance of being around long enough but not overstaying as welcome, and giving people more of what they asked for, which was Final Fantasy VII. And I'll say this: I'm not gonna lie, Zack is a better main character than Cloud. I'm at this point sometimes it's like seeing more of his story, listening more of his character. I strongly, strongly wish that this whole thing was Zack's story. Like, from the original 7 on in this one. I just wish this was all Zack. Because Cloud, I have no idea why. Don't care. It happens, man. 
Man, love to y'all. This is my thoughts on Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII. If you get a chance to, I say go ahead and go for it because this is really good. Until then, make sure you take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I'll catch y'all guys on the next one. Take care.